Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. If one asked you, what is the first disease that came to the human beings? What is the first sickness that came to the human beings? Any guess? Any guess? Sorry? Sin. No, the first sickness. The first sickness that came to human beings is the sickness of fear. Fear is a sickness. And it came to the human beings, to Adam and Eve, as mentioned in the book of Genesis. After they disobeyed God, they said, we heard your voice in the garden and we were scared. We heard your voice in the garden and we were scared. So to be scared or to be afraid is something you like to get rid of. But the first thing to know that fear came as a result of sin. When you lie, you are afraid that your lie will be discovered. When you cheat, you are afraid that your cheating will be discovered. So the best way to overcome fear is not, the first way to overcome fear is to avoid cheating to start with. Avoid saying bad words. Avoid doing anything so you get rid of that sickness, fear. Because fear is an outcome of sin from the very beginning. So if you would like to get rid of fear, get rid of sin, whether it is lying or cheating or being dishonest, because the result of sin is fear. The second thing in the Gospel reading today to get rid of fear, you have to realize that God is looking after us thoroughly. Everybody knows that God is looking after us, but to what extent? That is the key point. To what extent is God looking after us? In the Gospel reading today, it said that the hairs of your head, the hairs of your head are counted by God. Can anybody count his or her? His or her hairs? Impossible. But God is looking after us to that extent that the hair of your head is counted by God. And so he is saying, if God is so thorough in looking after us, he completed the verse and he said, then do not be afraid, therefore. So if God is counting the head of our heads to that extent looking after us, any of us who worries anymore, he or she is wrong. Because God who takes care of us thus much, he will not let us lose anything, no matter what our mind tells us. My mind is telling me it is so hard, I'm going to lose, and your mind is wrong. Because God takes care of every one of us more than anybody would think. Give you a story from the Holy Bible. Remember that big giant whose name was Goliath? Huge, like myself, with respect to him, I am too small. He was huge, and he was carrying many weapons with him. And he was saying bad words to the people of God. Who can defeat him? It makes everybody worried. But please, if God is with you, nobody can defeat you. If God is with you, nobody can defeat you. This is the Gospel reading today, because he counts all the hairs of your head. This was little boy. What was his name, the little boy? Hey, Zoe, what was the name of the boy who came to Goliath in front of him? What was his name? 
Bravo. David came in front of him and he said to him, you come with me with swords. You come with me with weapons. But let me tell you, I am coming to you with the strength of God. How can the strength of God help you? And he got a little stone and a little stone, he did it like this. With a string like this. And the stone came and entered here and he started to bleed and bleed and bleed and he fell in the ground. What was his huge body and weapons helpful to him? They were not. Because if God is helping you, don't worry about it. The only thing to worry about it when you're doing sinful action as a result of sin, you are going to be scared. But if you don't do a sinful action, pray more than thinking. Pray a lot more than thinking because thinking will make you worry. And the Holy Bible said you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Do you know? Does anybody here know what will happen tomorrow? Nobody can know at all. And if you don't know what will happen tomorrow, why worrying about it? The most important thing is that you indeed pray a lot and think less. Think much less because when you think a lot, you are going to be worrying unnecessarily. And you're going to be defeated if you were worried unnecessarily because nobody knows what will happen tomorrow. So if someone asked you, what is the gospel reading today about? Is about to what extent is God caring for us? To a huge extent, to the extent that he counted the hairs of our head. And after he said, I count the hair of your head and none of it will fall down. He said in the verse here, he said, do not be afraid, therefore. Do not be afraid, therefore, because God looks of us, looks after us. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. I got up a frani men around the end of the air.